Hey there, YouTube. Cheers. Sipping on a little uh, lemon iced tea here. Uh, so I get on and do a quick video here. I haven't done anything in a while. <clears throat> Hope everyone is doing well. Thank you for watching. I uh, thought I'd do. I haven't done any recent vibe. I haven't done any videos here lately. Been really busy. Um, but uh, I gathered up a stack of uh, promo 45s that I've recently gotten in over the last, I don't know, three, four weeks. Uh, and so I thought I would just share um, some of those. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, let me just, uh, I'll just put it down though lid on the uh, turntable there uh so anyway without further ado i've already wasted some time uh here's the first one of uh, the futures uh stay with me and love is here uh this is from 1973 uh and this promo copy uh is just a copy of the standard 45 but love is here uh, great ballad and stay with me is a really nice up tempo tune. Uh, I really do like this uh, 45. It was never released on an album. Um, then here is some um, staple singers, uh, This World. And uh, this, that was stereo. This is stereo. Uh, and then on the B side is Are You Sure? But uh, This World, really great song from their. Uh, I want to say it was the uh, Be Altitude album. Then some Bobby and Jimmy Purify, I'm Your Puppet. Uh, I'm Your Puppet on side one. And uh, there's so many reasons on the B side. Uh, this is a stereo release. Uh, some classic rock from Jefferson Airplane, Somebody to Love. Uh, and then on the B side, she has funny cars. And I believe that this is a double both sides are stereo. And both of these are the standard 45 releases. Here is some John Mellencamp Pink Houses. Uh, this is a test pressing. I normally don't do test pressings. I didn't realize that's what I was ordering when I ordered on Discogs, but this is a test pressing. It's the short version and the long version. The short version is just the standard 45 version. Long version, I believe, is just the LP version. Some more John Cougar. This is Hurt So Good, uh, which is uh, stereo on both sides uh, running at, I don't have my glasses, 335 on both sides and i believe this is just a standard 45 version here is some classic ohio players varia's love great ballad and then waltz uh first trip great up tempo tune i like both uh of these songs uh this came out in what 72 i think yeah 72 i think it doesn't say on here great great 45 Oh, then some electric light orchestra, ELO, Don't Bring Me Down, stereo on both sides, running at 4.08 on both sides, so yeah, it's a double A side, and I believe this is just the regular 45 mix. Then uh, Marvin Gaye, Mercy, Mercy Me, stereo on one side, mono on one the flip this is an edit of the album version uh and i believe it's just the standard 45 version running at 239 on both sides um then this is soul inc funky lady part three i don't think there's a part one or two and i believe this is uh both sides i think are stereo uh, but this is a real funky instrumental tune. Really, really nice. Some gospel. 
uh, the Gospel Giants uh, down to sleep. And then Brother Noah. I didn't particularly care for the Brother Noah, but I do like uh, Down to Sleep. Great record on the Savoy label. Uh, then here's some Aerosmith, Walk This Way. Stereo Mono, both coming in at 331. I think this is just the standard 45 version. And, you know, I really do like the 80s or early 90s remake with Run DMC. I like that, but I think we've gotten away from this original version that I think is just as good. Some uh, Zappa, Don't Eat the Yellow Snow, uh, Stereo. Mono both at 326. Great advice. Don't ever eat the yellow stuff on a discreet label. Great 45. Uh, some more Zappa Goblin Girl. Uh, and this is, I think, mono snow, both stereo on both sides. Uh, and the B side is pink napkins. I don't know that I've ever listened to pink napkins, but I do like Goblin Girl. Uh, I don't have a lot of Frank Zappa promo 45s, uh, but I've just been really kind of getting into them lately. You know, Zappa was more of a, to me, an album guy. You got to really listen to his whole albums. Uh, then Billy Joel, My Life, great classic from him. Stereo on both sides. Uh, one side runs at 443, the other at 350, which is, I do believe the original 45 version is the three. 50 and then this 443 is the LP version. Great, great tune by uh, Billy Joe. Then uh, AWB Average White Band Queen of My Soul. Uh, it's stereo on both sides. One side is the short version coming in at 359, then the long version coming in at 605, which is the LP version. And the short version, I believe that's just the standard 45 version. But on this song, I'm a big AWB fan. I think the long version of Queen of My Soul goes on a little too long. So I really do prefer this short version. That's what I really do listen to. But when I do play the album, I'll, I'll listen to that long version if it's just on. A more AWB, A Love of Your Own. This is one of my favorite songs. Uh, stereo, mono, and running at 334 on both, and it's an edit, the standard 45 version of this song. The album is longer, and again, I think the album version just goes on a little bit too long. I prefer this edited version to that. Uh, classic Stevie Wonder, Paul McCartney. And Ebony and Ivory. Picture sleeve. It's a double stereo. Both sides coming in at 341. Which I think is the same as the LP version. But I do really like that song. There's some classic blues. ZZ Heel. Steal Away. And Nothing Can Change. The Love I Have For You. Great, great ballad from 1967 on the Kent label. I really do appreciate ZZ Hill. I think he was one of the most underrated artists uh, of our time. He certainly died, young, for, unfortunately, in a car accident. If you're not a ZZ Hill fan, or if you haven't heard of his music, I would encourage you to uh, try some ZZ. Here's some Bob Singer and the Silver Bullet Band we've got tonight. Mono and Stereo. Both coming in at 356, which I believe is the standard LP version. Big fan of uh, Bob Seeger. Here is Rufus and Shaka Khan, Sweet Thing. Uh, this is stereo, one side mono on the other, both running at 318. I think the LP version is a little bit longer. So this is an edit. I think it's just the regular 45 version. Though, uh, here's some Marvin Gaye. Come get to this stereo. Mono. And this was from 72 or 73 on the Let's Get It On album. Uh, yeah, 240 is the time on both of these. 
I think that's the regular LP version. This was a shorter song, but it's still a great song from that legendary album. Some Diana Ross, Touch Me in the Morning, Stereo, Mono, both running at 351. Uh, and I think this is the standard LP version. I'm not a huge fan of Diana Ross. This is one of the few songs by her that I uh, appreciate. Here's some Starship and Sarah. This is an edited version. Stereo on both sides. Uh, 418 is the runtime on both sides on a uh, nice light blue label. Uh, yeah, this is edited at 4.18. I think the regular album version is a little over five minutes. But I do like this edit a lot. This is actually one of my favorite, favorite songs, Sarah. Um, I have this somewhere on a promo 12-inch, but I don't know what happened to it. I haven't seen it in a while. Uh, Meatloaf, you took the words right out of my mouth. Uh, stereo, mono. Uh, both running at 340. No, it's, I realize it's a double stereo. Uh, the edited version 340 on one side, the LP version of 504 on the flip side. I didn't even realize that. I was thinking this was stereo mono. Stand corrected. Uh, Eddie Rabbit Suspicious, or Suspicions, rather. Uh, this is Stereo Mono, I believe, yes. Uh, Mono, Stereo, both running at 418, I believe, and I think this is the regular LP version. But this is one of my favorite songs also. Uh, I'm not a huge Eddie Rabbit fan. I like this one, and I love A Rainy Night, are the two songs by him I like. Uh, here's some Aretha Franklin, Since You've Been Gone, uh, and Ain't No Way on the flip. Both sides are stereo. Usually the red, though, I think is mono. Let's have to look. Uh, Since You've Been Gone, but it's coming in at 218. I haven't played this in a little while. And Ain't No Way 412, but I do like both these songs. Uh, I like Ain't No Way more but since you've been gone is a really great song as well i'm not sure this is mono or stereo i have to listen to it i haven't played that one uh i think i've had that one a little over a month and i think i only played it once uh survivor the search is over and this one i believe is also double-sided stereo Yes, at 419 on both sides, yes. Uh, this is one of my favorite uh, songs by uh, Survivor. A great ballad, great power ballad of the 80s. Of course, it's second to, in my opinion, to Eye of the Tiger. It's my favorite song by them. Uh, here's some Maze and Frankie Beverly. Never let you down. I think it's stereo on both sides. Both sides running at 359. It came out in 83. And this is an edit of the album version. Great song to step to. Never let you down. Uh, what else? Stevie Wonder, Living for the City. Uh, stereo, mono. Yeah, this came out in 73 on the Inner Visions album. Uh, both of these are running at 312, which is an edit of the LP version. Always a good time for some Stevie Wonder, in my opinion. Uh, Michael Jackson with a Child's Heart from, what is this, from 71, 72? Oh, 73, from the Music and Me LP stereo. And Mono both coming in at... Three minutes exactly. I think this is the same as the LP version. It's a classic Michael Jackson on Motown. Uh, here is some uh, Oliver Sane. 
uh, Mr. and Mrs. Jordan and Harlem Nocturne. I think both of these are stereo mixes. Yeah, on the ABET label. The ABET label is a is it's an underrated label in my opinion. It was a seventies uh jazz label. A lot of good stuff on here. So anytime I can get anything on this label that's affordable, I try to pick it up. Uh here's Men at Work. Who can it be now? Both sides are stereo running at 320 and I believe that this is just this LP version I did order this on a promo 12 inch I found finally for only like eight dollars I think or seven dollars it's one one side is who can it be now the other one is land down under uh, on a really nice 12 inch single so i haven't gotten it yet but it's on order be excited to get that one uh total make believe this one i believe it is a uh, double stereo yeah coming in at 341 it's the same as the uh lp version really big fan of total uh, some Terrence Trent Darby wishing well. Great picture, Steve. I think this came out in 89. 87. Wow. Uh, wishing well. Both double sided stereo coming in at 333. This is an edit, uh, I believe, of the LP version. It's the standard 45 version. Uh, great Terrence Trent Darby. And lastly, The Temptation Superstar. Remember. How you got where you are. This is stereo and mono uh from 71, both coming in at 256. It's great temptations tune. So wow, that came in almost 20 minutes. Uh didn't think it was gonna take that long. So thanks again so much uh for watching. Hope everyone is uh taking care of uh yourselves and each other. Uh have a blessed and wonderful day and cheers, YouTube.